Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to my video. Today's reading, we're gonna be taking a look at what blessings are coming your way. I've pulled a few cards to see the overall energy of the blessings coming your way. I've also pulled some cards for some advice to help you step into that energy a bit quicker because you know, time and space are relative. So if there is something that you want, there's something specific that you've been trying to manifest, then the fastest way to get there is to remove all the blockages that are stopping you from receiving those blessings because you know everything we ask for is already ours before we even ask for them so by stepping into the energy the blessings come a lot quicker because sometimes there might be things that's standing in our way or even people that are standing in our way um preventing us from getting our blessing quick so i just want to see what's going on for whoever is interested so let's move these crystals because i know some people like to pick just the crystal and not the are a little dark. I'm sorry about my airplane. <laughs> there you guys here in the background. But whenever you're ready, just pause the video and I'll see you at your timestamp. Starting off with pile one. Okay. So starting off with pile one. For everyone that picked this black obsidian, I honestly do not know too much other than it's a protective stone. I literally just started using it again yesterday. I've had it for honestly years, but I just never felt that drawn to it until recently. I've really been wanting to just protect my energy, protect myself, so I've been using it since literally since yesterday. So far, it's been a beautiful stone. Um, I know it's great for protection. I've heard people say it's good for like psychic abilities, helping to heal your root chakra. So if you guys are interested in anything like that, then there you go, Black Obsidian is great for that. Starting off with your geometry cards, we have Synergy and we have Emergence. Okay, so starting off with Emergence, it says, the frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality from a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment, to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. So with emergence, I definitely see you guys like doing some, um, how do you put this? Like doing some activities, like maybe some creative activities, some things that you guys love to bring out that inner child that is within you, maybe even heal that inner child, that could be the blessing that's coming to you guys. Um, but definitely like how children, like whenever they're happy, that's all they care about is being happy and staying happy. They don't really look at um, the unknown. They don't really get too much into the unknown. They kind of just like to enjoy the moment of what's going on right now and not necessarily where is it's going. And I definitely see that with you guys, especially with all this orange energy right here. Um, once again, the sacral chakra. Talking about igniting the fire in you, something that makes you happy, something that makes you passionate. And I think a lot of us, that inner child comes out when we're doing what makes us very creative, what makes us bring that creative side out of us. So I definitely see that for you guys. Maybe that is the blessing that is coming towards you guys. Just having that fun, happy, childlike energy once again. Having that light at your core. Okay? And then the frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. So definitely going in, maybe being even around children soon or even your own kids and just allowing them to show you how happy life can be if you just allow the moment to be and just allow things to happen and not necessarily be scared of the new just accept the new take the new in and look at the world from a different place look at the world from a childlike perspective of just everything is love and everything is happy um yeah definitely definitely just bring a lot of happiness a lot of fire energy a lot of ambition in. so going right along yeah let's do this one so the overall energy, I just picked one card and we have receptivity, which is, I don't remember, <laughs> I think it's the, um, the Queen of Cups, but definitely somebody who is vulnerable, like she's naked in this card, she's vulnerable, she's pure, 
and she's okay with that she's okay with letting people see her vulnerable side and i'm not saying her you could be a girl or a boy but the queen of cups is a more feminine energy it talks about the softer side but everything has masculine and negative energy somebody who is very balanced in their emotion like if you look at the um the little spiral going in between her like almost like her chakras and then it goes all the way up to this beautiful lotus, lotus flower and a lotus flower is a flower that lives in murky water and every night it goes under the dirty murky water and then in the morning it pops back up as just beautiful flowers and you could never tell that this flower lives in murky water and the queen of cups is so receptive so willing to accept love and very open to accept love and even in the terror the terror oh, i can't even talk <laughs> The writer wait tar tarot deck like her cup is full her cup is full and her cup is protected and even up here you guys see like all the stars stars always remind me of like spirit of being protected of being guided and there's so many stars she's very connected with the higher up even her arms she's very receptive of everything that there is to come from her intuition as well as the world around her and I definitely see that for you guys just accepting and just happiness she's very filled with her emotions like i said her cup is closed um in the rider wake tarot that her cup is closed and it's protected by angels and she's very focused on her happiness so maybe that's what you guys are going towards like with these cards we're talking about that playful childlike energy once again so maybe you guys are your blessing is that just happiness getting to a place of emotional fulfillment and being very secure with where you are emotionally just being very happy so going right along we have the six of wands which talks about success it talks about somebody who's trying to go towards a success something that they're happy about something they're passionate about and sharing that success with other people but i see that you guys are having a hard time with that right now maybe you guys are feeling a bit stuck right now and you guys aren't really sure where to go um, you guys aren't really sure what to do to bring out this creative side, maybe this childlike energy. You guys aren't sure how to get it out of you. Um, but definitely, like if you have kids in your life, if you have even cousins, siblings, definitely spend some time with them to help you bring out this energy, help you find your inner self, tap into your inner self. The high priestess talks about like literally your higher self because sometimes that there there's answers to questions that we want that no one can answer except for ourselves and that's who the higher priest is she's the one that comes and she tells you what you need to know she brings you balance within your own life she's very intuitive she'll point you to the next step like if you look at her robe like it looks like just a blue robe but as you get to the, the bottom it turns into like what looks like water and it's surrounded by this moon which the water and the moon both talk about emotion and being connected to your intuition of knowing what's next the unfoldment of your intuition and i definitely see you guys knowing that that you guys need to tune into yourself and ask yourself what do i do next what's next for me going right along we have judgment so once again self-reflection sitting down and speaking to yourself what do what is it that i want what am i trying to accomplish how can i go after this and once again just so much blue so much blue so much intellectual knowledge just knowing a sense of just knowing even like maybe even discernment you guys have just knowing and a good sense of judgment as well i see so i definitely see that you guys know what it is that you guys need to do you guys are just unsure how to get there you guys are unsure of what the next step is but you guys know what you want you guys definitely i feel like you guys definitely know yourselves or you guys are getting to that place of knowing and understanding yourselves to be able to discern what it is to go after next moving right along we have the six of cups which talks about being content being emotionally fulfilled like the cups are all filled in this cup in these um in this card <laughs> the cups are all filled in this card all the other cups in the suit of cups um they either contain water or they have nothing in them but your cups are filled with plants. You have so much that you can give. And I see that as something that's good. Maybe you guys have so much happiness from your past, so much emotional fulfillment from your past, which is why you guys are connected to your higher priest or getting to that place of connecting to your higher priest so much that you can be honest with yourself. Because honestly, a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people aren't able to sit down and show them or, and see their life for what it is and accept it. 
but I definitely see that you guys are able to, or you guys are at least working on being able to, so you guys can move on to your success, you guys can move towards something that you're very happy about, and your past is definitely going to help you to accomplish that, your past is definitely going to help you, because like I said, maybe you, there's a lot of yellow here, so maybe you guys had a lot of happiness and purity and childlike energy in your past, remember the things that you used to do even as a child, Try to remember the things that brought you happiness as a child and try to tap back into those. What did you love to do as a child? What brought you success? What brought you fulfillment? Fulfillment within these cups as a child. And that will help you to um, get your blessings. You guys also have the King of Wands, which once again talks about something. <laughs> this is literally all talking about something you're very ambitious about. Something that you, you feel very powerful when you do. The king is the end of the suit of the wands, okay? Like, he's accomplished everything throughout the suit of the wands. And the suit of the wands is like inner passion. What's inside of you, what ignites the light inside of you. Like, how I was talking about the sacral chakra. What ignites that light? Like, he's literally wearing an orange robe. Is that what you would call it, a robe? But his clothing is orange. And orange is that color of the sacral chakra. The orange, the orange flower of life is the sacral chakra. So definitely tapping into that. What is it? Your second chakra. You guys can even Google it um, and try to find different ways to bring out that energy. But definitely working on it and bringing yourself to a place of that fiery energy of being very ambitious, going after exactly what it is that you want, and not letting people stand in your way. Just being very determined, being very strong and passionate about and happy with what you're going after to the point where nobody can stare, stare you in the wrong direction. Nobody can steer you away because you know, intuitively, you know that this is what you need to do. And then lastly, we have the star. Beautiful spread. So I see a lot of fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, fulfillment within your intuition, being connected, being grounded. I see a lot of happiness coming to you, a lot of hope coming to you a lot of nourishment coming to you and i think the nourishment would be within that childlike energy once again just bringing that inner child out i definitely see balance coming to you towards you guys i think that's your blessings just balance and being ambitious about life not being scared of the unknown just wanting to maybe even help people wanting to give to people offer to people and overcoming everything that comes in your way just being honest with yourself and going after what it is that you want i definitely see that that is your blessing being happy being emotionally fulfilled with what's taking place and some advice cards we have is money so these are just cards that i feel like maybe you guys once again something that you guys need to hear to help you get out of this energy of maybe feeling a bit stuck like you don't really know where to go next we have self-sufficiency and we have self-confidence so starting off it says all my financial needs are now in divine order love itself knows my needs excuse me love itself knows my needs and is the source of all i needn't cling to gain or loss every need will be met through offering all to the divine so maybe you guys were even in a state of doing something you love, doing something that you were passionate and something got in the way of it. Maybe you guys were working really hard because the bees really popped out to me right here. So maybe you guys were re working really hard on something and it probably didn't go the way that you expected it to. So now you're asking yourself what's next, what's next to help me to reach my success, to help me to gain this money. And what's next is you tapping into that childlike energy. You bringing out that creativity. If you guys are having some blockages, maybe you guys aren't because the creative card, the creative blockage card did not come out. But if you guys are just needing a little bit of push of knowing what's next, trying to figure out what's next, you guys can even meditate, meditate and try to look at the situation, try to reflect on this situation, and try to figure out how you can bring down that veil and. Um, earn yourself or not earn yourself but step yourself into this star energy moving right along we have self-acceptance nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself when you offer your whole being fully to love self-acceptance arises spontaneously may i rest in your oneness dear divine so definitely coming into yourself coming into that childlike energy because as kids i think we know more about the more about ourselves than any other point in our life because as kids, we come here so pure. We come here only knowing our high priestess, only knowing us, only knowing our intuition. And over time, you know, depending on our nature, our nurture, things kind of get, um, th 
things get shifted and sometimes we forget sometimes we do grow more into ourselves but sometimes we kind of lose bits and pieces and i see that you guys have lost a little bit of that and you guys are definitely you guys definitely should work on getting that back like getting back that happiness that playful childlike um just fiery energy like have you ever seen a kid just running around on the playground like i swear there's nobody <laughs> nobody happier than a child running around on the playground like so happy i've never seen anybody more at peace than just a kid playing and then we also have divine we have confidence divine confidence is completely different from the bravo of the ego you make space for something larger to take hold please fill me with your confidence oh love grant me courage i never knew i had yeah so definitely tapping back into yourself and just loving yourself like there's a lot of yellow and a lot of orange here and yellow is the um the solar plexus which is right above the sacral chakra and the solar plexus talks about somebody who is very confident somebody who knows who they are somebody who knows what they want somebody who takes care of themselves somebody who genuinely loves themselves and i definitely see you guys going back into that as well because it, it, there's a lot of yellow in these three cards and these three cards down here is how you guys will be able to step into your energy like i said just using your past using what you went through as a child and your happiness from being a child i feel like maybe you guys were very confident children and using that energy to help you to reach your success help you to bring out that creative that creativity within you because honestly kids are the most creative being that i have seen so definitely bringing out that creative um that creative passion and just tapping back into your childlike energy so you can get this fulfillment you can get this happiness this hope of um success okay power one moving right along into pile two if you guys hear noise just ignore it okay we have the clear quartz and our geometry cards oh these are upside down starting off with the clear quartz Clear quartz is literally a best stone for anything, like anything that you're trying to manifest. If you guys don't have crystals and you guys are just getting into crystals, a clear quartz is the best stone to start off with because you can literally do absolutely anything with it. Um, so starting off, we have root chakra. Ooh, we have root chakra and consciousness. So definitely balancing your root chakra will help you to receive your blessings but let's get right into it like i said just ignore the noise the frequency of root chakra the red flower of life stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane both in our bodies as well as in the physical world consciousness the frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention all on the multi-dimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality so for you guys i definitely see just a sense of feeling at home a sense of feeling protected a sense of feeling safe will help you to get into um the energy of your blessing i even see maybe balancing your chakra if you guys have um like lower stomach problems um like gurgling and stuff like you guys are having belly issues like very low belly issues like a low abdominal that's what i'm trying to think of your lower abdomen like it's been giving you issues definitely working on clearing out your root chakra um there's a lot of ways to do it but even just looking up like frequencies for root chakra detoxing your root chakra um and maybe even sleeping with it meditating with it will definitely help you to clear up your root chakra to help you get into the space to receive your blessing because i see that this is probably something that's standing in the way of it um because our the energies that we hold within ourselves kind of affect who we are as people so if we're having if we have low energies or we have just stuck energies in places that it shouldn't be it affects us as people like something i was literally thinking about yesterday is this person that i used to talk to and um like they would come off as like very happy on the forefront but like when you actually like get to know them and you see a different side of them like when they got kind of upset like you would see that um they were very angry very angry people and it's from all the energy that's stored inside of them because as you get to know people as you learn people you kind of you know people tell you their story and 
for this individual, what I noticed is that they went through a lot as a child, and the root chakra talks about childhood as well. It talks about things in our childhood that maybe we never dealt with, things in our childhood that we never cleaned up, and as a result, like this energy stuck within our body. The energy never leaves unless you release it, unless you heal it. And a lot of people have a lot of negative energies from maybe childhood traumas that they have gone through, and this individual definitely suffered a lot of childhood trauma. And whenever the individual get upset, like all that root chakra um, imbalanced energy, that dark energy, because it was very low vibrational energy, would come out. And I'm not saying that this is the case for you guys at all. I'm just saying like energy gets stuck. So definitely working on your root chakra will clear up the energy and bring in what blessing you're looking forward to or a blessing you're trying to, to attain maybe. Um... And paying attention to what comes your way like maybe you guys have been given signs maybe you guys are hearing stuff like honestly I got a reading the other day telling me to look out for owls and I'm like I've never seen an owl where I live and because of quarantine I haven't really going out much so it's like I've never seen an owl where I live or anywhere that I go how am I gonna see now and I swear to you guys <laughs> I swear for the past couple of days I've been hearing an owl and I'm like what where how 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 is this even possible but Spirit is very funny, so if you guys are seeing different animals, different numbers, whatever synchronicities, even like people calling you and telling you the same thing, whatever synchronicities you guys are seeing, definitely paying attention to them and taking sight, maybe even Googling the numbers and trying to remember what you were thinking about when you saw that number to connect the two, connect the dots and see why Spirit might be sending you that at that certain time. Same thing, like Spirit likes to talk to, to people through other people, so sometimes in a very good way like our angels will take over somebody else maybe you're talking to your best friend and the angel takes over your best friend and now your best friend tells you something that like literally changes your whole day for the better or maybe even changes your perspective a little bit for the better but definitely paying attention to science or working on your root chakra will bring you whatever blessing you're trying to get we're not even trying to get but whatever blessing that's coming towards you something else that i see with participation is definitely just giving giving well um or maybe that is what you're getting maybe you guys are getting a lot of joy a lot of happiness because this is the four of wands and the right away tarot deck so getting a lot of joy a lot of happiness um I, you guys can't really tell but they have their left hand down which is your receiving hand and their right hand out which is your giving hand so maybe just giving a lot of happiness a lot of joy to other people maybe that brings you emotional fulfillment as well and that can definitely help to clear your root chakra as well um giving giving definitely helps because you're you're filling yourself with happiness because you know we're, we come here to serve we don't come we come here to serve everybody else we don't come here to serve yourself and by giving like have you ever gone out to like the store or something and you know, like, you see, like, a little old lady and she needs help and you help her and it, it literally makes your whole day because you saw how happy you made her just because you helped her. Does that make sense? Like, just simple things. I see that you guys are either going to be doing simple things to bring happiness into your life or you guys are going to be receiving a lot of happiness because there's other people bringing you joy, bringing you happiness, people that you genuinely love and care about. So moving right along into your tarot. Ooh, we have heart <laughs> we have knight of cups please tell me where i saw heart the knight of cups talks about someone like you see the horse is like he's moving he's getting ready like the wings are up it's time to go um and he's also been through all the emotions already the card before this is a page of cups so getting ready to start out on this journey and now he's the knight is on this journey the knight knows where he's going he knows his cup is full but for you guys i see that you guys don't know how to get there you guys know what you want you guys want this emotional fulfillment you guys want to go towards something maybe you guys want to give somebody your love and you guys aren't really sure how to approach that situation yet because moving right along we have the king of cups as well so you guys definitely want to balance your emotions i see you guys want to balance your emotions you guys want to get into this king energy which like i said like he's been through the entire um cup suit the suit of cups he's the last cup in the suit of cups and he's very balanced he's very in tune with his emotions he knows what he wants he knows what he doesn't and he knows how to balance his emotions he doesn't let his emotions get the best of him 
He's very strong in his emotions. He's literally sitting in the middle of the ocean on a cement chair. Is that what you would call that cement? A cement throne? And he's good. Like, his throne is not sinking. His throne is just sitting there because he's emotionally fulfilled. He knows how to handle his emotions. So his emotions do not bring him down. His emotions do not allow him to sink. Um, and I see that you guys know that. You guys know that you need to step into this energy in order to receive these blessings that you guys are wanting. Something else I see for you guys is that you guys have been working on something. Something that you guys are passionate about. Something that you guys really care about. It could even be a relationship. And I see, or it could even be yourself. And I see that you guys have been working on this for a while. And you guys are bringing it to a close. But you guys need a little bit of help once again. You guys need a little bit of help to bring this to a complete close of just utter happiness and passion, inner passion, inner light, just being very fiery and ambitious about what it is that you guys are doing, but you guys need a little bit of help. You guys need a little bit of help going towards this, whatever it is that you're trying to bring your cup towards. Going right along, we have the Two of Pentacles, which talks about someone who is balanced, somebody who has balance, infinite balance, that you know whatever comes your way, whatever tries to kind of rock your boat, Whatever tries to rock your boat, you see over here, like, he has, like, the bumps and there's two ships going along. Whatever tries to rock your boat, like, your boat is still afloat, your boat is still strong, you're still staring away. And I, this is something that you guys are good with. You guys are a very balanced individual. You guys are logical. You guys know what it is that you want and you guys know how to deal with many things at once, maybe. You guys know how to juggle um, your emotions, which is why I see that you guys are going towards the King of Cups because... Like I said, it's the last cup in the suit. He's very still in his emotions. He knows exactly what it is that he wants. So he doesn't really need to worry about much. And you guys are definitely going towards that. Something else I see for you guys. I'm sorry, I pulled the wrong card. Something else I see for you guys is the best way in order to get this emotional fulfillment is by dealing with everything that has happened before. I see that you guys are probably sad right now. Um, not in the best state of mind or maybe ooh, like I said this is something from your past with the root chakra something that has really bothered you has really gotten to you and now the best thing for you guys to do right now is just deal with those emotions just clean up those emotions and let out the anger let out the tears let out everything because you know after the storm there's always a calm there's always a sense of happiness a rainbow look at it like that like after a storm you see that beautiful rainbow sometimes even a double rainbow okay blessings will come everything is temporary and these emotions are temporary and these emotions for you because i can even feel it in my own root chakra right now like these emotions for you have been stuck they're stuck in your root chakra and clearing up your root chakra will help you to clear out these emotions and i've done it myself i'm honestly i don't think i'm completely done because there's still certain things that i know just trigger me but like i said like everything is a process and clearing up your root chakra can be a lot because this is all your trauma <laughs> it's all your trauma from things that you didn't even remember or things you didn't even realize how it affected you until now so clearing up your root chakra can definitely be a lot but I see for you guys, if you want your blessing, this is something that is necessary. And even look at it like this. If you don't clear it up now, it's only going to get worse. It's like if you don't pay your, your bill, if you don't pay your mortgage or your, your rent, you might get away with it for the first month or the second month until they send you a paper saying, hey, you're about to get evicted. You know, you can only ignore it for so long before it becomes a much bigger problem and i see that you guys really want this emotional fulfillment you guys really want to go towards something that you guys are passionate about something that you guys are working on something that you guys really love and the best thing for you guys to do honestly is just clear this energy away just cry it out be angry scream it out write it out whatever it is that you guys need to do to get rid of this energy and allow the universe to help you as well with the consciousness card allow the universe to help you see the signs that the universe is sending you and allow them to um point you in the right direction even sitting down and meditating to open up your consciousness a bit more but definitely working on this energy getting rid of this sadness i don't know maybe you guys aren't sad but that's what i see every time i see this card so i feel like you guys are because even for me <laughs> even for me every time i pull this card i'm like yep i knew it's gonna come out because it's literally how i feel like somebody put three swords through my heart like it's it's a very painful energy but clearing up your root chakra doing some root chakra work will definitely help you to release this energy and bring you towards your blessing 
And then lastly, I see that you guys will, this will help you to bring your walls down. This will help you to bring your walls down so you guys aren't as um, triggered. Like I was saying earlier for myself, like certain things still triggered me because of my root chakra. And certain things still do trigger me because of my root chakra. So definitely working. Maybe you guys have even trying to been trying to work on this energy and you guys aren't really sure where to go. But I definitely see that you guys are balanced individuals and you guys will definitely bring this these walls down. Bring these walls down and be able to come to a place where you feel happy and feel okay. Somewhere where you feel confident, you feel um, balanced within your emotions. So moving on to your advice cards. We have calmness. This is such a pretty card. We have spontaneousness. I'm so sorry for the crying and the stuff in the background that you guys hear. Like there's literally nothing I can do about it. And then compassion. Yeah, compassion. Oh, I think this is all for yourself, by the way. The blessing that you're receiving is peace. Honestly, it's peace. Being able to bring those walls down and to get rid of that, that energy. To get rid of this, um, this swords energy, this three of swords energy. Because this three of swords energy is what's stopping you from getting that emotional fulfillment. From becoming that king of cups and going towards whatever it is that you're trying to go towards with your heart. Even if it's yourself going towards yourself with your heart or going towards other people because you guys also have a participation card so going towards people that you love going towards joy happiness celebration um this this um three of swords energy will definitely help you clearing up this three of swords energy will definitely help you to get there so starting off with spontaneous because it's in my hand <laughs> so pretty if you guys have a lot of blue as well definitely tuning in to your intuition will help you as well to clear up this energy what do i okay so spontaneousness what i do what do i no longer need help me god to release whatever people places or things drain my vessel essence i can't even talk i'm sorry that was a bit distracted it says what do i no longer need Help me, God, to release whatever people, places, or things drain my vessel as my vital essence. Show me what. Show me what will will fill my enthusiasm and joy. So definitely, once again, getting rid of everything that is causing this energy and dealing with it, just dealing with it once and for all, getting rid of it, clearing it out as hard as it might be, just healing this energy because you can't really do much. With three swords in your heart you can't get far with three swords in your heart so definitely clearing this energy up releasing it to god or the universe whatever higher power your ancestors whatever you believe in but releasing this energy whether you're writing it down whether you're crying it out screaming it out talking to somebody about it um running maybe exercising works for some people yoga candle work crystals like whatever works for you playing sports even just getting rid of that energy maybe you guys can play some sports with some people who you guys love some people who you guys who brings you guys a lot of joy people that actually love you though people who show you love not whatever caused this situation don't go back to that calmness it says the inner divine is the witness of all remaining still and quiet even during intense turbulence so take a deep breath and then say quiet my mind day lord may our peaceful calm take over so definitely sitting down meditating and seeing what you can do about this energy meditating calming your mind even bringing more balance to your life will help you to get rid of this energy and bring these boundaries bring these walls down that you guys have built up emotionally due to people hurting you or something or something yeah something hurting you guys you guys will be able to bring these walls down like i was saying with the meditation i don't know what hummingbirds mean but definitely look that up because the bird is popping out to me and it's beautiful and we also have a butterfly or a moth it might be a moth moths talk about going towards your light even in a place of darkness just still going towards your light and it's kind of like the butterfly the butterfly transforming but instead of transforming a lot of times when i look up the moth it's really talking about like going towards something you're passionate about something you really care about regardless of what situation you're in regardless of the circumstances just always um being drawn to what it is that is you essentially your true essence we also have compassion 
As you pray each day for your greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. So definitely being kind to yourself, loving yourself, putting this King of Swords and the Knight of Swords, not Swords, I'm sorry, King of Cups and the Knight of Cups energy, pouring it into yourself to allow you to heal yourself, to allow you to get this calmness, cry those tears out and transform and follow your light so that you guys can live in this passion. You guys can can um, have something that you guys work so hard for and be very passionate about and love it, not have to have these walls up like somebody's going to come take it away, okay? So definitely for you guys, group two, I just see emotional fulfillment. I see balance with your emotions. That is the blessing that is coming for you guys. I hope this reading helped. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys would like to see next. I also have my Instagram down below. If you guys would like a private reading, let me know. Just DM me. Or if you guys just want to talk, just DM me if something's going on. Because like I said, this um, sword energy is very heavy. So if you guys just want to talk about it, I got you. Just DM me. And yeah, I hope this helped. How to let me know what other pickle cards you guys would like to see. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. <laughs> Moving right along. Like I said, I can't do anything about the background noise. So I really and truly do apologize if it's super loud. We have pile number three. Hello, pile three. Welcome to your reading. We have this beautiful tiger's eye. Tiger's eye is great for protection great for ambition i think it's for the sacral chakra if i am not mistaken super good stone for just being confident like the tiger you know going after what you want and i've also heard that it's good for connecting to your intuition but i personally have not experienced that with this stone so i'm not completely sure but moving right along we have divine feminine and spirit and oh i can't even talk we have Demi Divine Feminine and Soul Time. Two very beautiful cards. Moving right along, starting or getting right into it, I should say. The frequency of Soul Time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So definitely for you guys, I see that one of the blessings coming towards you guys is definitely taking your soul, maybe going even towards what your soul mission is, but definitely taking care of your soul and doing what's right for your soul. So you know, some people live for the body, some people live for the flesh, some people live for like their desires, and I see that you guys are going to be more so focusing on your soul, what's right for your soul, what does your soul need, especially here with the Divine Feminine, because before even reading it, like it says right here, the softer side, the Divine Feminine talks about the nurturing, you have masculine and feminine within everyone, the masculine is more of the act, more of the doing, and even here, all this blue when I'm talking about the masculine pops out, because there is a balance with everyone, there's a balance within everyone of both. And for Divine Feminine, it says the frequency of Divine Feminine supports a receptivity nurturing and soft side allowing it to express itself openly and helping us connect to our incendiary understanding of our connection of all creation so definitely loving yourself understanding why you are here going towards your soul purpose going towards your soul mission um living for you is what i see right here living for your soul taking care of your soul nurturing your soul and making sure that your soul is good not just nurturing the body not just giving into desires and giving into everything that you might want in the moment but you know for the betterment of your person the betterment of your being it's not the right option i definitely see that a blessing coming to you that towards you guys pile three is just taking care of your soul taking care of your soul and making sure that you are good so moving right along we have the outsider and we have harmony so the outsider talks about somebody who like somebody who feels trapped essentially somebody who feels trapped and he doesn't know what is waiting outside but the thing is he's not trapped like the door is actually open like i don't know if you guys can see it but like the lock on the door is not locked like it's not locked whatsoever he could open it and go out if he wanted to but the thing is he doesn't know what's out there like if you guys look beyond the gates you guys can't see it's just like clouds he doesn't know what's out there and he's scared to go into the unknown 
but it's not that he can't do it he just doesn't he he doesn't know what to expect and as a as a, as a um a result of not knowing what to expect he stays where he is wondering curious about what could be instead of actually taking the next step and being like wow look at this harmony look at this beautiful energy that i've been missing out from wow like literally coming out of her heart space guys it's literally coming out of her heart just harmony just being happy this is a ten of cups and the rider waked up just fulfillment and the ten and the rider waked up this is a family that's outside with like a rainbow at the top there's kids playing the mom and dad are so happy they have their home they have everything so much emotional fulfillment is what you guys will be getting from taking care of yourself taking care of your soul stepping outside of this body stepping outside of this body and stepping into the unknown of your soul is what i see for you guys stepping into yourself because that's what your soul is and look at this look at that guys you guys literally have the five of pentacles once again because the outsider is the five of pentacles and the right awake deck you guys have the five of pentacles so yeah you guys aren't going towards the unknown you guys are scared you guys aren't ready to well i see that you guys are ready your soul is ready which means you guys are ready you guys are just scared because you guys don't know what's next but take the help if there's people offering you help take the help okay take the help and it'll it'll get you to your soul it'll help you to better take care of yourself better take care of your soul and bring you this abundance this harmony from your heart space just from inside of you i don't see it necessarily with other people but bring you this fulfillment for yourself bring you this happiness for yourself moving right along we have the world card so definitely completing something maybe completing this energy of feeling like oh well i don't know what's next so where do i go allowing the world to take over guys allow the world to take over this is what you guys know that you need to allow everything to happen you need to allow the universe to flow because there's really nothing we can do about it and if we stay stuck the cycle just repeats the cycle just repeats itself because there's nothing else for it to do because look it's a loop and in order to break the loop, in order to break the chain, you have to do something new. You have to do something different. And I see that you guys are having a hard time with that because you guys are scared of what's next. But what's next is happiness. And the second you step out of the space, the second you allow the universe to take over, you will receive all this happiness. We also have, what is this? The Seven of Pentacles, which talks about somebody who has planted a seed, someone who has been working on something for a long time, someone that has built all this stuff up okay because the pentacles is earth energy and earth takes a while like if you think of a tree or you think of grass you think of even a plant like if you guys have ever done some gardening and planted some flowers even the flower doesn't just sprout the next day it takes a while for the flowers to sprout so working on something that you guys have already been working on maybe you guys don't know the next step maybe you guys don't know what's next so you guys are sitting in the space of contemplation of i don't know what to do i don't know what to do What's next is taking care of your soul. Taking care of your soul will probably point you to the next direction. If this has to do with money, it'll it'll point you to the next direction of showing you, okay, this is what I need. By me doing this, I can essentially accomplish what it is that I've been trying to. We also have the Queen of Cups. So I see that you guys are very fulfilled in your emotions. You guys are very strong in your emotions. And you guys are taking care of yourselves maybe because the Queen of Cups kind of correlates to the Divine Feminine. And I see that this is what's going to help you taking care of yourself and keeping those strong emotions. Maybe you guys are even intuitive people. Keeping those strong emotions within yourself. Being confident about what it is that you guys know if you guys do have a sense of discernment. Like I said, if you guys are intuitive, you guys are protected. You guys are emotionally protected. So let go. Let this veil down. Open that door and step into the unknown because what's behind that unknown is harmony. What's behind that door is happiness. If you're working on something and it just hasn't worked out, there's better in store. There's something new coming with the world card. And maybe there's even more to this. There's more to add on to this. But you guys, I see that your emotional fulfillment will definitely help you get to that place of harmony. And then the tower card. So there's definitely something going on that you guys need to end. Something is coming to an end. And maybe I think you guys know about the end. I really do think you guys know about the end. And I think it's the end of the cycle. Because look, it's right underneath the world card as well. You guys know about the end of the cycle. And you guys know the cycle needs to end. But you keep repeating. You guys keep putting yourself back there. Because you guys are scared of what's next. Don't be scared of what's next. Let go. Let go of the situation. Open the door. Get that help. Appreciate the help. Okay? Be strong in your emotions. 
take the help and go to the next step this is done whatever this is happening the the universe or the god whatever you believe in universe god angels ancestors whatever you believe in honestly only take things away from us things only come to a sudden end because it was never meant for us in the first place if something is for us it'll always be for us you are born here with your parents your siblings your family your friends you're not born here with your friends but you know you obtain these people throughout your life and a lot of these people stay with us we do lose a lot of people but there are also people who stay with us those moments never come to a tower ending okay because those people are our people we only continue with those people we only continue to help those people and love those people that we genuinely that we are genuinely supposed to be with we're supposed to be around but for those individuals or those things those places that are not meant for us they always come crashing down because it is not meant for us maybe it was meant for a time but now that time is done learn the lesson be strong in yourself learn the lesson and move forward so that you can go into what's next you can receive this harmony and then lastly once again rebirthing yourself you guys need to rebirth yourself and that will bring you where that is your blessing rebirthing yourself getting rid of this energy ending this cycle so that you guys can have harmony your soul can finally breathe your soul can finally feel like wow like this is what i've been waiting for this entire time is to have this happiness to have this happiness this harmony because i see that once you guys take start taking care of your soul that's what's next for you guys this rebirth you guys were trying something and it didn't work you guys got hurt you guys got hurt and as a result now it's done i feel like maybe it's already done or you guys know that it's coming to an end where you guys know that you need to end it but i definitely see that you guys are going to end this cycle end this cycle that you guys have trapped yourself in and rebirth yourself and you guys will receive so much harmony so much happiness in your heart space just being very emotionally fulfilled once again with the queen of cups let's move right into your advice cards oh i almost dropped them we have self-sufficiency we have independence excuse me we have the love guys so maybe this was love maybe this was like a heartbreak oh excuse me Oh, and we have loneliness, yeah. So maybe this is some type of heartbreak that you guys are going through. But I'm sorry, but that relationship was not meant for you. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't meant to be. If it was meant to be, it would not have ended. Look at it like that. And as much as I can hurt, as much as a relationship ending can hurt, because I feel like that might be what this is. It's time to just pick yourself back up. It's time to take care of yourself. It's time to work on your emotions and be strong in your emotions. I see that you guys already are. I don't think you guys are like too sad about it i just think you guys are a little stuck like you guys don't know what to do next or maybe you guys are even still with this person for some of you i do see that because the rebirth card is here and the tower card is here so it hasn't ended yet for some of you but for some of you it has and it's just time to step into that place of being okay with being alone and simply loving yourself but starting off it says self-sufficiency the ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on god it doesn't mean hiding in a cave or saying I don't need people instead it's saying God is my source and I am willing to receive all the help love and support that wants to come so definitely if there's people trying to help you because we had the five of pentacles if there's people trying to help you let them help you that'll help you to, to take better care of yourself that'll help you to rebirth yourself by allowing these people in and not feeling like you have to do everything by yourself because you don't we also have independence the more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child, the more freestanding you become. Help me free, help me feed, and love this inner child, dear Lord. So definitely taking care of yourself, taking care of that inner child to help you feel more independent, to help you feel happier. Even if you need guys need to balance your root chakra a little bit, then definitely work on balancing your root chakra and even your heart space with all this green. Work on balancing your heart space and going towards your light with this moth following what it is that makes you happy what it makes you emotionally fulfilled what brings you this this contentment we also have love it's not about finding love you are love in itself understand that it is not about finding love you are love itself help me lord send me so much compassion and caring to the inner child i always remember i myself am love 
So definitely working on healing your inner child. Maybe that is even what you guys have been working on. You guys are just unsure of what to do next with healing your inner child. We also have loneliness. When you stop fearing your loneliness and you stop settling for less than you deserve, may I... When you stop fearing your loneliness, you stop fearing for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude. And that's when kinder spirits finally come. So definitely, I feel like some of you guys are stuck in a relationship where you guys feel like you guys need this person. You guys don't know what to do without this person. But you guys just need to leave. You guys need to walk away. You guys need to open that door because you guys are not happy with this person. And when you guys open that door to emotional fulfillment... Or not open the door to emotional fulfillment. When you guys end this energy, it will open the door to emotional fulfillment. And you guys will be a lot happier. And you know, you're never really alone. There's always somebody with you. Whether you believe in God, whether you believe in the universe, whether you believe in angels, ancestors, some type of spirit. There's always somebody with you if you allow them to be. And even if you sit down and you meditate and you tune in, it'll help you with this energy a lot, a lot as well. Because these energies can be heavy. The Ten of Swords can be something very heavy because rebirthing is not always easy. And the Tower. I kind of want to pull a card for you guys. Ooh. Let's pull a card. What will help Pile 3 to rebirth, God? What will help everyone picking Pile 3 right now to rebirth? With this Tower energy. Oh, this is way too many. Way too many. We have Celebration, the Lovers, Healing comparison so I'm not comparing yourself spending time with people you love once again oh this is a different one yeah you guys also have the um I'm not keeping all these cards so it's like why am I even looking at that <laughs> we have celebration which talks about spending time with people you love um and just being happy being happy with the people you love spending time with them you have comparison which is talking about not comparing yourself to others just being filled with yourself and loving yourself and seeing the good in yourself and ultimately when you see the good in yourself you see the good in other people we have the lovers so definitely for you guys just loving yourself um relying on yourself tuning in with yourself and just truly falling in love with yourself because until you learn until you learn to love yourself you don't really know how to love anybody else and then we have the page of cups i believe this is so um, going towards something new in love, learning about new love. This could even be you learning about loving yourself um, with the angels there, not feeling stuck in place anymore, moving on, being free, feeling free, yeah, going towards this harmony. And then we also have the ten of the king of cups. So we have the queen and the king. So definitely healing yourself, being emotionally balanced. And going towards that place of contentment with your emotions so nobody can rock your emotions is what I see for you guys. And then overall energy was the queen of wands. So being very passionate, being very sharing, very caring about what's taking place in your life. Um, like being very passionate and caring towards yourself even. Just having your emotions very balanced. Okay, so many cards are popping out. Something else I see is the, what is this, the Six of Wands, some type of burden that you guys are bringing along with you guys. You guys need to let this burden go. When you guys rebirth yourself, this burden will go away, or that is how you need to rebirth yourself, by letting this burden go and healing yourself. Like I said, maybe even spending time with people you genuinely love, people who love you, who show you love, and make you feel happy, make you feel like this is where i would like to be not people who bring you down and you have to second guess if you want to be around them yeah and we also have ace of cups just finding your emotional fulfillment finding something that makes you overflow with love and joy something you really really love something that's really um important to you will definitely help you to rebirth and i see that that's your blessing is rebirthing yourself I hope that helped out three. Let me know in the description box below if there's any other suggestions, any other videos that you guys would like to see. If you guys want to talk a little bit, you guys can DM me on Instagram. My The Instagrams are in the description box below. And if you guys would like a personal reading, that's, yeah, that, I can't talk. That information is in the description box below as well. Until next time, guys, bye.